Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Guns, Knives, and Pokemon, where I combine three of my interests into one video. I know it's a weird combination, but uh, I don't think there's anything out there like this, so I figured I'll do something different here. Uh, the video will be broken down into different sections, so if you're not into one thing, you can skip over to another. And um, let's get started. All right, let's get these out of the way. Let's start with this. All right. Let's start with the pistol first. This is a custom Glock 19 Gen 4 chambered in 9mm. Let's go ahead and do a quick safety check. Nothing in the chamber. Uh, like I said, it's uh, custom to the max here. Uh, custom Glocks were all the rage, so I figured I'd get one myself. I did it piece by piece and eventually turned to this thing. So let's start with the slide. The slide was sent into this awesome company called Jager Works. They did all the machining in-house and refinishing. And it just looks a lot better and it's more f has better functionality because it has these four slide serrations for press checking. And uh, it was also milled for this red dot site. It's a Trejicon RMR. And see if I get the red dot. So, there we go. It's kind of hard to do it in the camera. So wherever that red dot goes, that's where the bullet will strike. As far as iron sights, these are Ameriglow iDot Pros. Much better than the stock plastic sights that the gun came with. Uh, next, let's talk about the barrel. This is a S3F match grade barrel. It makes it just a little bit more accurate than the stock barrel. And again, custom Glock, just making it look as cool as possible. Let's add more to that cool factor. The frame is a Lipsy Special gray frame. Uh, typically it's black, but um, this is a special edition. I had the frame sent into Stip Grips to get this stippling done. To give it that this texture here and it's not too rough that it's going to tear up your clothes if you carry this concealed but it does give uh, a better grip than stock i also like this thumb wrap that he put here it's another point of contact to have your thumb rest and also push down as the gun is recoiling and it helps with that recoil control the trigger is an oc customs thin blue line trigger it gives it an overall lighter trigger pull and the uh, trigger travel is a lot less than stock. Uh, what else got here? Uh, this is an Olight Valkyrie PL Mini 2. It's their second iteration. Uh, it's a rechargeable light and it's pretty bright. It's 600 lumens. And the switches are right here. Um, and it's rechargeable through this this port right here. There's a magnetic uh, charging uh, cable that attaches there. So uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the pistol. Let's move over to the knife. What we have here is a Benchmade 917 triage. It's a thin blue line special edition the blade is really fast to deploy it's a drop point style straight edge and you can see the model number here 917 and the blade steel is S30V it's a premium blade steel awesome edge retention and it's also really easy to sharpen as well. And this also has a safety hook. Uh, also a seat belt cutter can be used to uh, cut through clothes to, to get, get to an injury a lot faster. So it's pretty handy. Uh, I use it to cut uh, cord, rope, uh, zip ties. Uh, pretty handy tool to have. 
It also has this carbide tip glass breaker used to easily shatter glass. So if you're having to be in a car accident and the doors are stuck, you could use this to break through. And yeah, and the hooks there, you cut cut through the seatbelt as needed. The seatbelts get stuck. So yeah, pretty handy tool to have. This is my everyday carry. Yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. Last but not least, we're gonna open up that Costco special EV themed three pack. Here we go. So I didn't get into Pokemon cards and around this summertime. I think it's out. Okay, oh, it's sticky in there. So a friend of mine, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, uh, he's the one who got me hooked on this stuff. Oh man. Uh, ever since he uh, started talking about it, I was kind of like, oh, so you're into that stuff? And he's, yeah. And then the more and more he talked about it and showed me some stuff, I got more interested, got nostalgic, because I used to watch these shows when I was uh, um, back in the 90s. So yeah, it just you know, brought it back and now I'm totally into it now. So, uh, yeah, check out his channel, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, he, he does openings, he does giveaways. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, but, uh, pretty cool dude. So what we have here is the promo cards, uh, three different EVs. It's pretty cool. All right. So we'll start with the balls first and then we'll hit up that box next. So, we need to, I won't scratch it up, there we go, so these come with random packs that I've heard. See what we got. I think there's a coin in there too. So we got that sword and shield base set, Rebel Clash, and Darkness of Blaze. Got a coin. I don't even know if I'm looking at that right. Yeah, I'm pretty new to this, so um, like I said. The last time I really got into this, uh, it was the first generation back when there was just 151 Pokemon. And I don't know, I only know a few of the newer ones, but uh, I'm still pretty new to it. Oh. Yeah, it's no side. Let's see if it's the same. Mm, Rebel Clash and Darkness Blaze, yep. So yeah, if I mess up the names of the Pokemon, yeah, forgive me. I'm pretty new to this. Oh, nice. Okay, so you have the the original evolutions of Eevee here. Oh, I see a swirl right there. Nice. And for packs, we got Chilling Rains, two of them. Fevid Voltage, 
Rebel Clash, and base set Sword and Shield. There's a code card. And it looks like just little. Oh, these are stickers. Nice. And a notepad. And a mini binder. Just put your cards in there. That's it. All right, let's open up these packs. Sorry about that. Uh, I was just opening two of the base set, Sword and Shield, and just realized the camera cut off. So, um, yeah, there's just two packs so far, no hits. Here are the code cards. Let me show that. There we go. So let's continue on with the third one. Yeah, I was just talking and talking and didn't even notice. So a lot of uh, Pokemon YouTubers have uh, a catchphrase they say and um, when they get a hit or something like that. Uh, so I was just wondering and oh, I forgot to, uh, to call out the energy card. So yeah, Fist Energy, cool, awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, if there's any uh, ideas for a catchphrase, uh, let me know in the comments. Or I'll just come up with my own, uh, whatever. We'll see. Um, I'm kind of older. Uh, people people uh, have uh, mentioned that. And I'm dating myself, depending on these comments I say, on the uh, on the Discord and, and the forums and stuff. So yeah, I might I might just say some some old stuff like leaping lizards or jumping catfish. Oh, here it goes. Rebel Clash. So there's three of them. So, eh, who knows? Here's card, code card. So I'm not used to this. Just talking to nobody in the camera. So if there's any periods of just dead air, sorry. I just... And Fist Energy again. I keep forgetting to say what the next energy would be but oh well so I don't know what the chase cards are for this for this set I didn't even know about uh, Rebel Clash uh, was going to be in here but uh, there we go Go with drip energy. Ah, shock. Oh, I got that box too. Fatterine V. The last for Rebel Clash. Hmm, darkness. Alright, let's go to some Chilling Rain next. So I know the chase cards for this is the Golden Snorlax, 
uh, some of the rainbows. But yeah, that golden star knight's really want to get. And also the um, the the three birds, legendary birds. All right, let me see if I remember that calling the energy. You know, let's go with fist energy again. Ah, uh, flame. Alright, next, let's try uh, Eyeball Energy. Nope, Darkness. That's pretty cool, Cinderace. Nice, Tauros. Uh, let's go with Darkness of Blaze. There's two of them. Yeah, two. So, chase cards. Really is the uh, Charizard VMAX. Oh, flipped over. Great. Fist Energy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm not consistent with calling out the energy cards. Um, just not used to it yet. Come buskin. Oh, Butterfree V. First hit. Only sleeves I have are the uh, ETB sleeves. Sucker is gonna open. These are pretty tight. Okay. over again huh interesting I think that last one was uh, a green card too and got a hit from it oh, I could be wrong uh, let's go with I don't know we've been getting a lot of fist energy so let's go for that uh, shock First hall and a it, it eter eternitus V. That looks pretty sick. Nice. Let's leave it up here. All right, last pack, Vivid Voltage. So, uh, a chase card would be uh, the Fat Pikachu, the Rainbow Fat Pikachu, and uh, that's all I know, really. Uh, 
Uh, let's go with Salad Energy uh, Metal. Charmeleon. Electrode. It's kind of a hit. Hollow. Well, uh, that's about it. So that was episode one of Guns, Knives, and Pokemon, or GKP for short. Um, so uh, next time, I have a, <clears throat> a crazy idea. I'm going to take a pack and take it to the range and shoot it. Uh, hopefully I don't get kicked off, and I'll try and do it discreetly so uh, they don't, the range masters over there don't, don't see what I'm doing and uh, kick me off the range. Uh, but uh, something to look forward to, something different. Again, trying to do something different for um, of the plenty of Pokemon videos or YouTube YouTubers out there. So, yeah, so that'll be the next one. Uh, thanks for watching.